Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yisrael. Welcome to the World of Warcraft and 8.5, the final part of the Battle for Azeroth War campaigns here. We're going to be looking at it from the Alliance side. I may or may not get around to leveling a Horde character one of these days. Um, probably not, let's be honest here. However, right, final part of the War campaign for the Alliance kicks off with Master Matthias Shaw aboard the Winds Redemption. We're in Boralus, nice, sweet, scenic Boralus. And of course, we now have flying out, so it's a lot easier to get around. Yay! It's Shaw. Matthias Shaw. So we have the Eve of Battle as our first quest. Ah, oh, the time has come. We may have defeated Ajara. Well, that's a dubious concept. If you've finished off the Eternal Palace raid, you'll know that Ajara is not exactly defeated and got pretty much what she was trying to do anyway. However, we still have to deal with Sylvanas. Our position is not ideal. Translation, we're about to get our heads kicked in. We have mobilised our available forces. Me, Shaw, Jaina, three men, two boys, and possibly an angry exploding sheep. And we stand ready to finish this war. I can only assume the Horde are down to their last two peons, and possibly a bottle of uh, rock gut. King Rim wants us to brief his situation before we join him. There have been some interesting... De oh, you found out about Sarfang, haven't you? We fight in the okay. shadows. Okay. Well, pop Anduin up from wherever you've been hiding in Massey. Let's see what he's got to say. Sleep with one eye open. Ooh. That scene. Anduin. Sylvanas's actions have threatened us all. And day by day, her power grows. If our world is to survive, we must strike. While we still can. What is the point of wearing your cloak? And we will speak. Only to wear extremely shiny and obvious armor and ride your force. How many can you provide? Enough for one final assault. If that fails, we're done. Spoiler, we're probably done. If we end her reign. What kind of war chief will you be? You said he was going to be war chief. Also, it's a good the question. The board I joined was birthed through blood, tainted by corruption. The road that led to the dark portal was long and wide, paved with the bones of innocence. It really was, by the way. Uh, swing by the, uh... the path of glory. Swing by Hellfire Peninsula. That was the great lie upon which the Horde was founded. That anything we did was honorable. Thrall, Rolton, they were not the true heirs to Blackhand's bloody legacy. Sylvanas Windrunner is. No. No, this is the Horde. Led by you. Someone who has. Honor. I've never known honor. They deserve more. But the Horde is doomed to be shackled by the chains of the past. The Horde has no exclusive claim to regrets. Arthas, Dalen. The ghosts of the past haunt us as well. We could not fill the chasm between the Horde and Alliance if we labored a thousand years. You know this. Then what are we fighting for? Ominous lightning strikes. Soldiers, on your feet. Start breaking camp immediately. Lord Safang? Zakan, where is our home? Orgrimmar? Not our city. Our home. Azeroth. And ours? Azeroth. Right now, there are only two forces in this world that matter. One bent on harming our world. And one that will protect her. So, what are we doing? Charging quietly into certain death. What else? Breaking the cycle. Oh, that's ambitious. And since we've got at least half a patch to go, it's gonna get messy. Also, that was a really quick ride. 
Okay, uh, oh, hey. What do you know? A base that's actually going to supply a reliable, usable teleport. You need something? This couldn't possibly go wrong. Okay, Razor Hill. I haven't been there in a while. I'm assuming this will all make more sense if I ever get around to playing at the Horde side of the campaign. So, for those who don't aren't familiar with it, Thrall's back. The uh, Night Elves... Sorry, not the Night Elves. The, uh, the ones the Horde just acquired have immediately rebelled against the, well, Horde. Uh, high, high Elves, uh... I'm sorry, what particular brand of mana junkies were that lot again? Also, I like welding masks, it's very nice. Be vigilant. Okay, also, that's actually a valid point. Where is Taranda, and is she about to show up and ruin everything? Oh, right. She has, in fact, turned into a the Night Warrior. Is only as noble as the causes he serves. And is probably preparing to go completely murder happy on every single elf she can find. Stormwind honors your service to the Alliance. Okay. Well, you were nice enough to send a mage over, Randwin. How can I complain? So, we must stop some here now. This ain't mine. They've collapsed past the canyon path to Orgrimmar. We're cut off from our vanguard, and they will be destroyed for coming for some quickly. Overspark and Gazlo think they have a solution. Uh, this is going to involve be bombs, vigilant. isn't it? Lots and Can lots mean, and lots of bombs. Of course. Oh, Our sister Valeria, hi. She knows we have precious few soldiers left. While we lay siege to Orgrimmar, Again. she will whittle away our numbers. Again. But Sylvanas is not the only threat we face. The old god has been freed. Yeah, sorry about that. Whispers. Sense his unseen tendrils writhing all around us. Well, provided they don't get believe. jammed anywhere awkward. What are you suggesting? Sylvanas commands what may be the only army capable of defeating Nazarth. For the sake of Azeroth, perhaps we should stand aside and let her. Your sister hmm. will not fight for us, Illyria. When no, but she will fight for survival. The war was on the cusp of ending. She lured both fleets into Azara's hands. Not to find victory, but to meet death. In the end, death claims us all. Etrid told me those were among the last words Sylvanas spoke to Vol'jin. We cannot wage two wars. Sylvanas must fall. Here. Now. Before all is lost. It shall be so, my king. Barisa and I will scout her line for weaknesses. Good luck. To all of us. Also, the whole thing about being, you know, undead, and presumably having at least a few necromancers stushed in her back pocket, means that she can, well, just recycle her casualties. So it's not so much going to be killing everybody as more dismantling them. And even then you've got ghosts to worry about. Yeah, second time for you. A <laughs> veteran traitor. That depends on your point of view, really. No, really it does. Yeah. You know this isn't bad old school architecture. A bit drafty, I don't think much of the lighting. And I suspect having that giant chimney in the middle of the building is going to cause havoc if it ever starts raining. But hey, who am I to criticize? Ooh. It's not an explosion. Hmm. The Mindbot 5. That, look, you two quit squabbling. Mines, boulders, skulking assassins, undead. Oh, hello, baby. Can I have this as a mount? I mean, all you have to do is stick enough rockets on the back and we'll get a flying mount out of it and, oh, show off. Right, let's go. The Mindbot 5000. I see what I have. I have Boulder Annihilation. Sometimes takes a different angle and optimizes so which should get the job done. And also Zaps, the Zone Appropriate Protection System, does exactly what it says on the tin. So, let's see. Trundle up, trundle up, trundle up. Boulder annihilated! Ah. And. Boulder annihilated! Hmm. It's a mine! It's a mine! It's a mine! It's a mine! It's a. Oh, come here! Do you want to give me a hug? No? No. Boo! Zap! Zap! And zap! 
You may be sensing a theme here. Possibly a zap as well. Oh, we got nothing. There we go, we got the zap. Ah, it appears that the uh, ram does not work on anything that is not, in fact, a rock. It very specifically only annihilates boulders. But it's very good at annihilating boulders. Yeah, that's a mine. That's a mine. It's all a mine. Unfortunately, this thing isn't mine. I've got to give it back. But what's mine is mine and is mine is... Oh. Wait, it's an engineering quest. Of course there was going to be a giant explosion. What did I think was gonna happen at the end of this canyon? I actually thought the explosion was gonna be accidental, but um... Wait, isn't the self-destruct meant to have a... Oh yeah, remote control. Yes, um, also... I'm pretty sure that the bomb was goblin make. Uh, Gaslo. For once, you have my sympathies. Right. Oh, yeah. And we're in. I get to take a ride. Yay! Faster than a speeding mount? Possibly. Certainly easier to control, though. I could probably have done this on manual flying mount as well, and maybe it would have been quicker. Ah, Duratar. Ah, Honk! Missing its turret for some reason, but hey, there you go. And, yep, we're sieging Orgrimmar again. Of course, Sylvanas knows how we beat the Siege of Orgrimmar last time, and it's only been, what, two expansions? She's probably prepped to counter exactly that assault. Oh, they've rebuilt the front gate. Probably tougher. Has anybody got some glaive throwers? They worked last time. This time I know they'll probably just bounce, but hey, you never know. We might get lucky. Andy, hi. Now, the last time we were here, Daddy said he was going to annihilate the Horde if they ever went off the Path of Honor again. Do you want to muzzle the dog, or do we have to let him lose to rip and tear? Also, hi, Thrall. Um, Orc Jesus apparently taking a back seat on this one. Stormwind will endure. So, what are we up to? Good news, the Vanguard is still alive. This was, in fact, a triumph. Just make a note here. Huge success. So, three quests to go. We have to save the siege, deal with, I assume, the saboteurs. Yes, slay ten suspicious technicians or loyalist assassins. Strategic deployments, deliver the orders. Okay, we also need to fortify Thunder Bluff. And Sarfang led the city's fences for years. He is also the only Orc general ever to have successfully attacked the place, so he is eminently qualified on the matter. But Sylvanas is probably going to go out for Hamburger while she's at it. And last but not least, we have to save the siege by removing these suspicious crates. Never lose hope. Hmm. Hope is, in fact... We need you oh. and your best soldiers to flank the city from the western gate. And leave you here unguarded. With them? If yes. I wanted to harm him, I'd have done it in the stockades. That's no one not... knows Orgrimmar's defenses better than Salafang. We need to trust each other if we are to succeed. Well, that is a... Well. But the Banshee is clever. Dividing our forces might play right into her hands. I have to admit that while that is a convincing argument, it was probably not the best one to make in front of a... seven-foot-something werewolf who is got claws longer than your windpipe is wide, which is actually a problem. Anyhow, let's go say hi to Jaina. Oh, you've hooked up with the... Well, they're not exactly addict elves. I mean, these guys are on a clean option. Ah, Felicia, you've found your new bestie, the true I see. Lies ahead. Right, deployment orders from Saafang and King Ren. I will never forget. First Arcanist. We are to shield our forces from magical assault as they lay siege to the city. A wise decision. We can do so more effectively from higher ground. Lord well, off you Admiral, go then. Might I ask about the spellcraft you employed at Lordaeron? The levitating warship? Would you believe me if I told you it was a cold tier in trade secret? Summoning no. the ship, perhaps. But as for the enchanted cannons... 
that also is an Ulterian trade secret. Also, why don't you just get out here again? I mean, it makes the sky airships we've got look positively minor. Hey, oh, what are Yo. you up to? I don't know. Purge, purge, purge the traitor. Wait, are these guys count as traitors? This is a very awkward legal question, isn't it? Also, um, hello, Bob. Ah, so is that he didn't like that very much? Well, congratulations, you're guilty. I don't know what you're guilty of, but you're clearly guilty of something, therefore, I fire be purged. No, really, the sword blade is made of fire. It, it is purging him. Therefore, he's being purged by fire. Why is there a problem with this? Right, I have the right to be purged. Whee! Oh, you're not dead. Hammer to the face. Now he's dead. Right, pop another crate. Yes, it's only smouldering with azurite fumes. That's not suspicious at all. Onwards. I need a target. I don't have a target. Um, the only thing getting spat out will be your teeth. Careful where you're putting that red claw. In fact, we may have to spit out a few other things as well. Possibly the red. There we go, got him, and her, and it, and oh, we've got a few more loyalist assassins. Also, more deployment orders. Chandris, so last time you rocked up, oh good, you have got the blade thrower. Um, same job as last time, smash a hole in the door, charge through it, and hope we don't have to deal with a couple of angry shaman on the other side. I am listening. I think we killed them so that, oh, you're at the wrong gate. Uh, that's a problem. On your mark. So, we are to strike from the north. A sound plan, but there is no telling what treachery Sylvanas has in store for us. She fought beside you for many years, both in life and in undeath. You must know her well. Perhaps Not really. I did, long ago. But now... Hmm. Our forces are few in number. We must make use of the surrounding terrain when we assault the gate. The Sentinels have made use of that terrain for millennia. Our knowledge of the land was old when the Far Striders were young. Yes, of course. Yes. Also, can I remind you that covering the approach to the North Gate is the small matter of that goblin building, monstrosity, pleasure palace. You know, the one with the giant door-busting cannon on the roof. I think it's still there. I haven't been up to Ajara in a while. Oh, yes, I'm cheesing some of my kills. I'm not really a problem. Smashy, smashy goblin. Get back here. There we go. And bomb gone. Not in the usual sense of it's left the aircraft and is now plummeting towards the unfortunate recipients. But it's, well, gone. Oh, dang. And that is saboteur number two gone. We're down to five crates, and we also need to go speak to Myla High Mountain. You know, I'm not sure what it says about the Horde's selection and betting procedures that both of the Horde's allied race factions have immediately turned on the Horde's official leadership. Then again, what does it say about Sylvanas that she manages to immediately hack off all her new allies? Hmm. Open speculation, I believe. Ooh, bomb. And now there is no bomb. By the sound of it, there was also no goblin on the other side, but hey, there's a detail for you. Pop. And boom. We do not want a siege engine shattering kaboom. And now we don't have one. Hooray! So, Myla, um... Having a bad day yet? I no? am Mayla. Don't worry. I stand as High Chieftain. Uh, congratulations. You're not actually taking part of the siege at all. You're our top cover, in particular for Thunder Bluff as well. So, oh, okay. Our tribe stand. There is little my Eagle Riders can do while Sylvanas controls the skies. But we can still defend Thunder Bluff. G is already there, tending to Bane's wounds. He said he has seen Orgrimmar under siege once before, and does not wish to relive it. We will stand beside our Torin kin, and await further orders from Sarfang. Earth Mother, watch over us all. 
Yeah, I can't imagine why G wouldn't want to relive the battle that saw him beaten to a pulp on his knees and about ten seconds away from getting an axe through his neck before the, well, the Alliance intervened and saved said neck. Yeah, bad memories. Bad, bad memories, especially if you're a Horde Royalist. Right. Andy, everyone's the happy. He's only as noble as the causes he serves. So, don't worry. There are going to be no explosions, at least not from that source. Everyone's in place, and the saboteurs are dealt with. I wish this bloodshed wasn't necessary. Yes, well, if wishes were horses, I'd be riding a thoroughbred. Okay, before the gates of Orgrimmar, we prepared for this battle. Now we just have to survive the imminent head smashing. Victory in the light. Right, I am. <laughs> uh, I am ludicrously over optimistic, as is frankly everybody else. Matthias, does Matthias ever stand up straight? Doubt it. Oh, high budget cutscene. You know, there's suddenly a lot more people there. the opposition, by the way. Those who defend Orgrimmar are horde as well. Our brothers and sisters. That was not a good moment to get sentimental. To fight for you. Many lives will be lost. Hmm. I don't think Sarafang intends to survive this. Just one. Sylvanas Windrunner! I challenge Makora! Do you think he's going to honor the terms? Huh. What do you know? She might. A traitor leading traitors. Why should I accept your challenge? to make me suffer. Good answer. Brother, you cannot win. Set you on this path. Not really. And we knew where it could lead. Walk with me the rest of the way. Congratulations, you get to see the next expansion pack. Saofang, apparently Azeroth was unable to have his memes. The High Overlord falls. I trusted you, and so did they. Well, Death it was... comes, old soldier, and all their hope dies with you. Not really. We still have an army parked outside your front door. You cannot kill hope. You 
tried at Delgasil. You failed. Hope remains. You set us to kill each other at Lordaeron. You failed. Here we stand. And apparently Just here we fall. Failing. The Horde will endure. The Horde is strong. <laughs> is nothing oh that was the wrong thing to say you are all nothing as I see you. Toy soldiers in tin plate. You're wearing armor Beasts yourself, you know. Beasts howl for honor, standing as one. Savor it. Nothing lasts. Well, I'm pretty sure that's her resignation speech. And farewell, Sarfang. Azeroth could not contain his mimetic greatness. What do we do now? Well, Thrall needs his old job back, or you could just get a healer with a combat res. Anduin, do your stuff! Time to make a decision, mate. That was the right one! Okay, well, that was a short battle. Very, very short. So, on the one hand, um, no siege. On the other hand, uh, farewell, Safa. A long road lies before us. Uh -huh. Well, he won. I suppose we have to go home. And also, kind of have to get the round and recall everyone. Regent Lord. What manner of magic did Sylvanas use against Sarfang? Oh, I hope shadow. either you or Thalysra would have the answer to that question. I have never seen her wield such power. It was Go ask unlike the any magic I have ever encountered. I could sense none of it, even in her presence. Then she must have only recently acquired it, or simply waited until now to reveal it. Either way, it does not bode well for us. Whatever she is planning... She no longer needs the Horde to achieve it. Hmm. Also, I need to quickly get round the whole of uh, Durata and let everybody know that the war is officially off. Which could cause a slight problem if Tyrande pops up and doesn't get the memo in time. Yen! Yen, where are you? Come on. Oh, there you are. Uh, Yen, hi, um, good news, the war's off, we don't have to die today, and Darius Crowley, good Hail to see Charlie. you again, uh, yeah, um, you're gonna have to hunt Sylvanas down, I'm afraid. Trust your instincts. Sarfang is dead, yep. and Sylvanas has escaped, this is no Also, victory. yes. I care not who leads the Horde, or if they tear each other apart. All that matters is slaying the Banshee, and we have missed our chance. 
Well, we'll have to go and find another one. The good news is she's kind of dumped on the horde, so she no longer has any infrastructure or backup which is going to make things extremely interesting because presumably she's hooked up with Nazoth and his uh, tentacly appendages of doom, as opposed to the noodly appendages, which are belonging to a far different deity and a far nicer one. Right, Jaina, um, we sent the elves around to the northern gate, didn't we? Actually, no, uh, Rothamar's still here, and he was on the northern flank as well, so maybe they managed to get back. Also, you guys really need to learn the virtues of armor in a stand-up city fight. It, it will keep you alive. Also, is it me, or is the dwarf contingent just a touch undermanned? We moment? cannot let the world fall to darkness. Ah, hope is the first step on the road to disappointment, Jaina. You saw what Sylvanas pulled. Yay! Battlefield commendation. Speak with Jaina again. The time for dreaming is over. Ah, funeral. Oh yes. Also, Andrew's a priest. I mean, I realize that reses are a matter of plot, but you mass res half your army in front of Lorderon. You can be careful who you trust. No. No. Oh, pity. Sarfang, son of Koruk. Supreme Commander of the Might of Kalimdor. Also dead. High Overlord of the Horde. Now just he corpse like the, the rest of us. against the Lich King. He defended our world from the Legion. Boy, Sarfang inspired all of us to strive for true honor. And his legacy will live on in our deeds. When the Alliance and Horde marched on Ankaraj, it was Saurfang who valiantly commanded our combined forces. Today, his courage saved thousands of lives on both sides of the battle. Mostly by stopping. His sacrifice will never be forgotten. Until we need the Horde and the Alliance at each other's throats again. Death, old friend. Now, greet your son with honor and glory. He's married, Jaina. He's married. Besides, your boyfriends are usually cursed anyway. And here we are. So, end of the war campaign, at least until we roll into 8.3. Let's raise the question of who is running the horde now. Hmm. Well, we'll see. However, the fourth war is complete. This is how war always ends for us. With blood on our hands, mourning those we lost. No amount of fighting can ever bring them back. I have a resurrection when spell. When we choose to walk away. I wasn't ready to learn that lesson before. Few may be ready now. But learn it, we must. Okay, and we have a full-on quest from Jaina. The way Jaina. forward will not be easy. Okay, time to hook up with Derek and Kalia. Oh, the undead couple. I know what must be done. Hmm. That we is going to be interesting. To Let's go pay him a visit. Control. Something of an epilogue, really. I assume Thrall is running the Horde at this point. I mean, let's face it, who else is qualified? About the only other person they'd be willing to follow would be Bane, who is still flat on his back with various wounds. Saafang is dead. Maya is inexperienced. Lothamar, well, they just had a bad run with an elf anyway. And find Kalia Menethil. Oh, she's right the way over there. Oh, well, looks like they're setting up to, for another voyage, I suppose. Eh, nothing like a little romantic cruise, get away from it all, discover some new islands, slaughter the various oversized beasties of the deep, tentacles or otherwise, and hey, what are you guys doing up here? Ah, kites. Good day to you. Safe yeah. passage to you. Why are you calling yourself a kite vendor if you haven't got any kites for sale? Get cracking. 
Let the others get wet. Absolutely. Yeah, little Easter egg they tucked in there for anyone who somehow managed to get up this mountain before... Presumably it was there before Flymaster. I mean, it does look like it's possible if you follow the right path. Although, let's face it, nobody would ever be so bonkers as to try to get up there in the first place. There's no good reason to do it. You just... Well, like I say, for having fly mounts, there are lots of places that are easier to get to now, but a bit annoying that she doesn't actually, you know, sell any kites. Maybe that was just for somebody who got up there before 082 went in and we all got flying and we all found that place. Ah, uh, the rewards of exploration. Also, why the uh, happy couple setting up shop in the middle of a Naga invasion wave? Hmm. Then again, it looks like they've actually built themselves a new place. And of course, the Naga invasion is now, well, pretty much flat. No, really, it is pretty much flat. They, uh... Oh, okay, maybe they didn't. Hi, I'm looking for a romantic undead couple. Has anybody seen them? Kalia? Ah, up here, I think. Note to self, if the uh, hut is a-rocking, don't come a-knocking. Are we good? No, it's not rocking. So, Kalia, for those of you who aren't familiar with her, Arthur's sister was a dead mostly. I think she got killed in the uh, original battle that flattened Lord Ron and turned it into the, well, the Scourge capital, eventually. It gets rather confusing, but basically she rolls up in the intervening fiction between Legion and Battle for Azeroth, and kind of gives everyone an option. Ah, Jaina, hi. Lord Aron. <sighs> oh, Jaina, what a relief to see you safe. Hello, Kalia. Big brother. Word has spread of what happened at Orgrimmar. Is the war finally over? No, it's never over. Sylvanas is still out it there. It will take time for all the pockets of fighting to be quelled, but... Yes. I believe so. Azeroth has seen so many wars, so much strife. I pray we have earned a respite. Nope, there's an old god on the loose. Sorry about that one. That's also, I wouldn't why. take a honeymoon cruise at any time soon. Have you been able to find peace in your own heart, Derek? I still have some rough seas to sail, but I'm much better now, thanks to Kalia. Without her guidance, I would have been truly lost. Ah. I'm so grateful you brought us together, Jaina. This time with Derek has helped me as much as it's helped him. All right, In the getting down to Stormwind Cathedral. Others will need to find their footing, their future. Perhaps you could guide them too. Uh -huh. no, I think they're going to be too I'm busy making sure eyes at each other. Help I could be. I don't have all the answers. No one does. Maybe they don't need answers. Maybe they just need hope. Like I did. Well said, big brother. Come, let's take a walk. I am so grateful to have you both back in my life. Let's enjoy what am I? this moment together. What am I? Chopped liver? Okay. And I think that pretty much wraps up the situation for 0. Point, sorry, 8.5. It's not got a zero in front of it anymore. Uh, yeah, there, there goes the happy couple and Jaina, and I suspect we'll see them again in 8.3 when presumably Sylvanas turns into a raid boss along with Nazoth. And possibly Ajara, because she wasn't exactly dead at the end of the Eternal Palace. Mostly dead. Temporarily dead. Not quite dead. I'm honestly still not entirely sure what happened there. All I know is that uh, Old God Tentacle got rammed somewhere. It probably shouldn't have been. But that wraps up the Alliance side of the war campaign. So thank you one and all for watching. And until next time, whenever that may be, carry on purging the enemies of the light. Farewell. <laughs>